Holy Spirit of God, over to you. Open our understanding. Bless every one of us. That we not live here the same. But we live here with our testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please be seated. I appreciate the almighty God for this privilege. And for the servant of God, the visioner in our midst. The great man of God, God bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. You that is here, God will bless you. You will never live here the same. You will get your 11th hour miracle in Jesus' mighty name. You know, as the name of a thing is, so it is. It says, is we are here for miracle marriages and breakthroughs. So you will get your own in the name of Jesus. We have been redeemed to reign in life. I want you to get this understanding before we start praying on every other thing. We have been redeemed to reign in life. Revelation 5.10 And has made us unto our God, kings and princes, and we shall reign on the earth, not in heaven, we will reign here, and you will reign in the name of Jesus. We have been redeemed to enjoy life in abundance. That is breakthrough. You will have your breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. John 10, 10 B, I come that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. That's your portion in the name of Jesus. Our God is a good God and wants the best for us. That is why he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68, 19. Bless thee the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. That means we are bound to enjoy miracles and all round breakthroughs. As a lifestyle, not one day, next time we keep suffering. No, as a lifestyle. I decree that this 11th month, all your desires will come to you in the name of Jesus. God will cause you to love in the open in Jesus' name. Now what is miracle? Miracle is a mighty act of God provoked by the faith of men in line with God's word for supernatural turn around. It is simply God manifesting his act so we can enjoy his best. God manifesting his act so that we can enjoy God's best. What is marriage? Marriage is a divine union of a man and a woman in holy matrimony. Duly approved by God as husband and wife. I say it's a divine union of a man and a woman in holy matrimony. Duly approved by God as, hus as husband and wife. Note, marriage is God's made, not man's made. It is not based on tradition, culture, or religion. It is based on God's word. What is breakthrough? Breakthrough is a significant occurrence that provides an answer to a problem and provokes a huge amount of progress. In this context, it is God making a way where there is no way. Breakthrough in this content today is God making a way where there is no way. God will make way for you in the name of Jesus. You will live here with your breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. And you sit there before you live here, you will receive a call that that man will say, it's you I've made up my mind to marry you. In the name of Jesus, he will never have peace until he talks to you in Jesus' name. So you like this one. <laughs> Miracle marriages and breakthroughs are real. 
God is still showing himself mighty in the affairs of men. He will visit you and show himself mighty in your life in the name of Jesus. That your long awaited breakthrough will come true in your favor in the name of Jesus. You will end this year with lots of testimonies in Jesus name. For the ladies that your husband will locate you. For the men you will find that your wife in Jesus' name. Prolonged singlehood has ended in the name of Jesus. Just be expectant and you will have your miracle in the name of Jesus. Marriage is a good thing. And no good thing with God we told from us. That is Psalm 11, Psalm 80. 411 be no good thing we will he we told from them that walk uprightly. Do you walk uprightly? Are you the righteousness of God in Christ? Yes. Marriage is your portion. Yes. Breakthrough is your portion. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. It is never late with God. You may think the year is over because this is the 11th month. The God specializes in giving us 11th hour miracles. He will give you your 11th hour miracle marriage in Jesus' name. He will give you your 11th hour breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Whatever be your desire, God will give you this 11th month in the name of Jesus. It is your turn to testify. And you will testify before the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Yes. Turn to someone and say, I will, I will testify. Declare it again. I will and you will testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. So don't give up because God is about to show up for you. He is ever faithful. Our God is a faithful God. For example, I will match you 20 when you get to we read 1 to 9. That Matthew, it, the Matthew 21 to 9 tell us, tells us how the laborers got their miracles at the 11th hour. But I won't read it. I'll read only 6 to 8. 6 to 8. But about the 11th hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand you here all the day idle? They said unto him, because no man had hired us. He said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. So when Eve was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. So it doesn't matter. I know you have witnessed several marriages, weddings from January to November. You, you have heard of people testifying of their breakthroughs and you are wondering, when will your own come? This is the 11th month. Your time of visitation has come in the name of Jesus. This 11th month is your time of visitation. You must believe it. You must believe it. We are not magicians. It's the word of God we decree, uh, declare and you believe it. It comes to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you have to be attentive and ask God to give you your own word. Your own wedding will be an amazement to the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your breakthrough will be a global news in the name of Jesus. Amen. The God of Salvation Ministries will surprise you in the name of Jesus. And until you are blessed. So don't give up. Until you are blessed. Many people are not talking, so you don't know it. <laughs> until you are blessed. So don't. Don't. Your miracle is by your side. Your miracle is by your side. You will testify. You will testify. The ones that want breakthroughs, you will have breakthroughs. The ones that have marriages, if it's admission, breakthrough is breakthrough. 
Whatever is your heart desire, according to his will, he will give to you in the name of Jesus. That yoke of stagnation is broken in the name of Jesus. That yoke of prolonged string will is broken in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have been tied, I command you lose in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are lose in the name of Jesus. Anyone that say you will never have breakthrough will go down for you. And as many that say you will not marry will die. In the name of Jesus, the angels of God will strike them. Whoever that have held you down, I cause them, I command anger of God to fall upon them. And you are loose to be found in the name of Jesus. You will have your testimonies in the name of Jesus. As many that have been serving God faithfully, you young ladies, whatever that have stood against you, I command it destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Every force, even if you are in our midst, standing against the breakthrough, the marriages of others, I command vengeance of God upon you. Command you to go down in the name of Jesus. And you are loose. God will remember your services. And visit you this month in the name of Jesus. How to assess your miracle marriages and breakthroughs. How to assess miracle marriage and breakthrough. One, you must be born again. Miracle, you know, is from God. So if you are not born again, you don't have any reason to say, God, give me a miracle. You must have a personal relationship. You must be able to know who you are asking to give you a miracle. If you need a miracle from God, you must be born again. You must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the beginning. That is the foundation. Born again is the first step to assessing your miracles and breakthroughs. The kingdom of God is full of good things and new birth is what makes you to enjoy them. So you must be born again. In case as I'm talking, you say what is born again. It means that when I say make or tackle, you are the one. You must. And if you are not too sure whether you are born again or not, when I make the altar call, genuinely accept Jesus Christ and say that that today, every force must bow. Are you hearing me? John 3, 3. And Jesus answered and said, Very, very, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So until you are born again, you can't receive miracle. Until you are born again, you won't have any breakthrough. You must go. Then you do it the way the worldly people do. By lying, killing people. And that is not your portion in Jesus' name. Number two, believe God and his word. Believe God and his word. It is what you believe you receive. You must believe the word. It's the word of God that gives you testimony. So you must believe the word. If you don't believe the potency of God's word, you cannot enjoy the benefits therein. I say believe, God's, uh, believe God and his words. It is what you believe you receive. If you don't believe his pot- the potency of God's word, you cannot enjoy the benefits thereof. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. All things are possible. So it is possible. Don't say it is the 11th uh, month. When will the person propose, you can. It's possible. It is still possible. My husband talked to me. Within three months, we got married. Some people we said uh, we say, uh, why is it uh, that they marry that you need to know the person? You can't know the uh, the person. There is no way somebody can pretend. Just pray, pray, pray to God that God direct me to the right person. Somebody can pretend to be good for one year. Once he enter house, say, this is who I am. So that does not mean that that does not mean that you will not know the person at all. That somebody can pretend and be there for years. One day we say, "This is who you have married," and he said, "But he said, oh, I thought you were coming to sing." He said, "Forget it. I was looking for husband." <laughs> so you have faith in God's word. 
Your faith in God moves God to act in your favor. Your faith in God, your faith in God, as you believe, makes God to act in your favor. God means what he says and says what he means. He is not a man that he wish you lie. Number. Are you people are not Papa's children? So what is the scripture now? Okay. So your faith is important to God. You must believe that there, you must believe in this 11th hour miracle. That there is 11th hour miracle. You must believe. I decree that as you believe, you will receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, serve God faithfully. People of God, serve God faithfully. Don't serve God because you need a miracle. Please, don't serve God because you need husband. Don't serve God because you need something. Serve God faithfully. Serve God faithfully. Many people are deceiving themselves in the house of God simply because they need marriage. And God, you cannot deceive him. You cannot. Serve God faithfully. Serving God faithfully qualifies you to enjoy his goodness bountifully. You, when you get home, you read John 12, 26. But anyway, the B part say, if any man serve me, him will I with my father honor. God will honor those people serving God faithfully in the name of Jesus. In case you are not serving God faithfully, you can turn today and start serving faithfully and God will visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once you see God first, everything God will add to you in the name of Jesus. That is Matthew 6, 33. It says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added. Marriage is addition. Breakthrough, addition. Children, addition. Visa, addition. Admission, addition. Are you hearing me? You have heard Papa gave testimony that as he was serving God, he found me. He said he didn't pray. And that is what he said. <laughs> but me, I prayed and I told God that a man that will marry me must see the glory of God on me and not my physical appearance. That is it. Number four, live holy. Live holy. Sin and holiness cannot work together. Amos 33, can two work together except they be agreed? So you, if you need miracle, we have a holy God. He is a holy God. A holy God works with a holy children. Work with holy children and not with People that do anyhow. I know you are not that one in Jesus' name. But there's something, there's something I want to tell you. As a woman, make sure you live holy. It's not those you dress well. Make up, but that does not mean that the right person will find you. Follow these steps and you will see. You will just get the right person. Serve God faithfully. Don't deceive people. Live holy. Don't keep one boyfriend somewhere and come to the church and be dancing. Uh, it will affect you. Miracle. It's miracle. Don't be doing a yahoo and say God give you breakthrough. There are certain things that hinder us. No judgment. I'm not judging you. Whatever the ones you have done before is a bit. Now you are hearing change. Don't be following somebody's husband. Call somebody's husband and say you need breakthrough. If we like, we put our head down here and be shouting, God will not do 11th hour miracle. So check yourself. Are you holding somebody's husband? Leave the person's husband. So that God will give you your own. You can't hold one and need. And do you have boyfriends somewhere? And come here and be dancing. And you, do you know why you have to be careful? When people are coming, you people always are like to stand in a, a very uh, strategic places. They see you. 
Like now, if somebody have just seen you with a man in the hotel, you came here and be dancing with all of us, where God must move now after that. So after the person there say, okay, this is it. You don't know. So if you know you are not living holy, don't be forcing yourself to the front. Stand at the back. Sit at the back. Yeah. Because it's hindering you. It's like you carrying courses on you. The prayers are not working. So don't come and be deceiving people in the house. Or you stand at that place welcoming people. They say, ah, so this is how they do. <laughs> so it's miracle. You can't be owing people up and down. they standing here. <laughs> and you say you need breakthrough. When they say breakthrough, you are breaking down. You're not breaking through. As they are praying, the person is cursing you. The person say, God, this prayer will not work today <laughs> upon this person. It's owing me. You can't be duping people. Are you hearing me? That's by the way. To enjoy the best of God, you must live a holy life. You can't be living in sin and expect God to hear your prayer. Are you hearing me? Psalm 66, 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. You must live holy because God is holy. First Peter 1, 15 to 16. But as he which had called us is holy, so be you holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be you holy, for I am holy. Another point is avoid murmuring and complaining. Some of us will complain. People will not. This one you assisted. You are said, God, this is the ninth month now. Huh? Uh, 11th month, I have not seen anybody nobody has proposed, you will be complaining remember that I did sacrifice, glory, rain uh, all, I have paid tight faithfully, you are complaining compounding things Philippians 2 14, do all things without murmuring and disputing murmuring hinders the manifestation of miracles so when we pray tonight but remember not to murmur and complain. Just believe God and expect it. The primary way most people destroy their faith is by murmuring and complaining. God hates murmuring and complaining and does not take it lightly. God does not take it lightly. Numbers 11, 1. Numbers. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost part of the camp. You see what God, he consumed them. God will not consume any of us in Jesus' name. Don't go to your mirror and be complaining. <coughs> Learn to forgive. Unforgiveness puts one in prison without the person knowing. Even if somebody left you to marry another person, forget it. The person is not good enough for you. Are you hearing me? Uh, forgive the person, leave the person. Somebody better will marry you. Somebody better. You will think I is the best. No. It's not, I've told you people my own story. A little Abby, Papa wasn't the person that wanted to marry me. Yes. But uh, now... Where my husband is, if I had married the person, if Papa, as Papa is here, me and the man we would have been in all razi when they keep past, <coughs> when they keep past us, that's is keeping past us, only past us from here to all razi, we will be there. They won't know that people like us are there. But see God, what God. So, <coughs> so forgive. Are you hearing me? Mark 11, 25, 26. He said, if you don't forgive, neither with your father, which is in heaven, forgive. Maybe that is what has been hindering you. So today, show mercy and forgive. Don't be wishing him to die. He may not die. <clears throat> and maybe you don't wish the wife to die. Even the wife will not die. Even if the wife dies, he may marry another person and not you. That's why you will not wish them dead. Are you hearing me? Forget the past. Number seven, forget the past. Stop dwelling in the past. 
Remembering your past mistakes will hinder you from enjoying the best of God. Whether you had a child before, it doesn't matter. Forget it. Whatever where you are abused, molested, it doesn't matter. A single mother, a single father, whatever, whoever. Forget it. Are you hearing me? And the ones that break through, in case you have failed over and over, you are, uh, that the paper you tender, what they call it? Help, help you. They rejected over and over. This one they won't reject again in Jesus' name. In case they have not been paying you, forget it. Forget it. They will pay you. After this prayer, tomorrow you are getting your miracle in the name of Jesus. I say after today, you are getting your miracle. Even where you are seated, you will receive a lot. In the name of Jesus. That company that have held you, refused to pay you, will pay you in the name of Jesus. The man sitting on that, your payment will be removed. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Whoever that said they will not appoint you will be removed. In the name of Jesus. The vengeance of God will strike out such ones. In the name of Jesus Christ. So forget the past. Philippians 3, 13 to 14. Say, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark of the, the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So let it be a portion. Then number eight. Be expectant. Be expectant. Papa said that miracles don't go to where they are needed, but where they are so expect. That you say, oh, don't, but God can see that I need husband. No. Oh, God can see that I need wife. No. God can see that uh, I need breakthrough. I need visa. I need no. No, you must expect it. You need it, but you must be expectant. Well, it's what you expect, you experience. So if you expect miracle marriage and breakthrough, you will get them once you are expecting miracle. And God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't give up. Don't give up. Believe that there is a miracle and God will give you your own in the name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 23, 18b, the expectation shall not be cut off. Your expectation shall not be cut off. I decree that your expectation will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Whatever you say, I have desire, breakthrough, globally, God will grant you in the name of Jesus. Husband, God will give you in the name of Jesus. Admission, whatever is your heart desire, God will give you in the name of Jesus. You stand to your feet. Let's pray quickly. Prayer for miracle marriage for the sisters. Pray against every covering cast that have hindered you from being seen. Decree a new glory upon you so that you will be found. Isaiah 45. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Then whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord. So pray against every covering cast and decree that you will be found immediately. Decree it with authority in the name of Jesus. Pray. <laughs> Open your mouth, sisters, and pray. Brothers, pastors, help us to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, I stand under the grace that answers to David, be my decree that every covering curse 
upon every, every one of you. I decree it be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Command it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Command you be loose. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, Amen. you will be found. Amen. This what is your mode. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The man meant for you will not have peace. Amen. Until he finds you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will be found in Jesus mighty name. Amen. For the brothers. Job 5 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Isaiah 43 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now pray. Cast out the, every device of Satan to hinder your success and progress in life. Thereby making you unable to get married. Ask the Holy Spirit to intervene in your favor. Pray, 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 pray. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name, I decree that those forces be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Whatever that has made you not to make progress, I command it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And decree your liberty. You are loose. Holy Spirit of God will guide you, direct you, and he will intervene and favor you. In Jesus' mighty name. For breakthroughs. Isaiah 45 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight, and you will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. So pray to destroy every obstacle to the manifestation of your breakthroughs. Decree all gates to your breakthroughs be open speedily. He said, Therefore, their gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day or night. Pray. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree that the hand of God rests upon you. Amen. Holy Spirit of God guide you, Amen. direct you to the areas you will have fine breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I stand and decree, if there be anyone among us that Satan has held down, as a lady, once again, I decree you be loose by the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever that has held you down from getting marriage is destroyed in the name of Jesus. And if it's you are the one behind it, I ask that the mercy of God answer to you. The mercy of God answer to you. The mercy of God prevails over judgment. God show mercy and intervene. That they will they remember their services. And distinguish them that this month become their month in the name of Jesus Christ. You are loose to be found in the name of Jesus. The man God open your eyes to know the right person for you in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough is your portion in the name of Jesus. You will never be stagnated again in the name of Jesus. Vengeance of God will answer in the camp of the enemies. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. But if you are here, you are not born again. Remember the first step, you must be born again. So you may make altar call quickly. If you can remember the day you were born again, you accepted Christ in knowing that you need to be born again. Say this prayer with me, Lord Jesus.
Every one of you that, uh, that are not born again, pray this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, with your hand lifted up, the right hand, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name. If you pray that prayer, keep standing, please, while others have their seats. Ushers, give them gifts and talk to them. Boldly stand, don't sit, so that you will, God will give you your miracle in Jesus' name. And if today is the first day you are worshiping with us in Salvation Miss here, I would like you to stand to your feet. You are welcome in Jesus' name. On behalf of Jesus and the servants of God, the presiding pastor, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. This is salvation means the home of success, where people succeed. You will keep succeeding, you will not fail. Miracle becomes your portion. We would love to see you again. God bless you as you keep coming in Jesus' name. All of you who have experienced delay in life, I decree before this year ends, God will give you supernatural speed. <laughs> My God, the God that called me, the one that said, Go and establish my kingdom. Everything that looks like it's not going fast, before 31st December, God gave you speed in the name of Jesus. What you could not do since you were born, it will be done supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the God who showed himself mighty in my life, show himself now in your life. His hand come upon you in the name of Jesus. Your blessing is compressed in the name of Jesus. Gain supernatural speed in the name of Jesus. Overtake those who are ahead of you. Overtake those who are ahead of you. Overtake those who are ahead of you. Come on. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. It is done. You will testify. In Jesus' name.